Hey everybody, it's Lo and welcome back to my channel, Lo Without Limits. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a review of Pro's custom hair care. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. I had been interested in trying custom hair care for quite a while. I feel like Pro's is one of the big ones that I just kept seeing targeted ads. But I still had quite a bit of shampoo to go through. I was using the Dove one that's really good for your scalp, plus a little bit of the Nizerol before washing my hair with the Dove shampoo in order to calm down my scalp and my flakiness. I wanted to use all of that before diving into getting new hair care, but in the spring there was a really good deal that was going on, so I figured I'll take the quiz order it and it came pretty quickly but I didn't use it right away I actually didn't start using it until late May for the quiz it asks you about your hair type it asks you how much you're coloring it it asks you if you're using heat your activity level different things that you want to focus on so for me it's my sensitive scalp it's the ends that get a little poofy if I don't blow out my hair after a shower they will like poof up and get a little Hermione ish and then also just the oiliness and wanting to control how oily my hair is which I get that from my dad so thank you dad and you also add in what your zip code is because that will tell you about the weather the smog water quality because i'm in la new not great air quality the water is a little bit on the harder side and there's a lot of sun do the whole quiz and they'll tell you different things that are good for your hair and what they recommend you get so of course they have the shampoo and conditioner they also offer scalp mask hair conditioning mask hair oil dry shampoo all kinds of things that there are to try but i went with the shampoo conditioner and the scalp mask I started first using it in late May and I've used it all throughout now mid-September and I'm barely out of these. I did sign up for the three month subscription. You can do it where it mails it to you every one, two, or three months, but thankfully you are allowed to adjust. They'll say your subscription's up for renewal and you can push it off. So I did push it off four weeks at first since I did get a later start on using it. And then I actually pushed it off an additional two weeks and then it just came yesterday. I probably have about another use out of the shampoo, the conditioner I'm pretty much all out of. So I will begin to use the new conditioner just because you always run out of conditioner faster. But overall, over the last four months of using this hair care with my original formula, absolutely loved it. And there are a few things that I wished I had changed. For example, the scent that I went with was Botanica. It sounded really good in the description. So I thought that would be nice. I think it was maybe a bit too strong. So I initially smelled it and I was just like, oh, wow. But overall, I really, really like the products. Before they ship you your next subscription orders, you get to do another quiz similar to the other one where you get to answer what you liked and what you didn't like about your custom formula. So I went on and I said, love the conditioner, but I do want it to work on the frizziness that I get at the ends again because my hair gets super knotted when I wash it. And then when I condition it, it's usually good. I'll run my fingers through at the end and it gets all the knots out so it can dry better. But I did notice that I would condition it and it would still get a little bit knotty. So I'd add a little bit more conditioner and I just felt like I was using more conditioner than I wanted to, to really get those ends nice and conditioned and smooth and calm in regard to my scalp because I have super oily hair and it's very oily and it's also very sensitive and I'll get flakes for it. If I itch because of the just sensitivity of it, my hair will start to flake. So especially here, right above my ears, back here behind and then right in the center, it'll get super sensitive. So I'll give it a little scratch and it just makes it super inflamed, super red and like kind of scratches it raw, which is gross, but that's my reality. That's what I wanted to let them know so they can custom tailor my formula. What I did notice is with the scalp mask that I would do before washing my hair is it worked so well. Absolutely loved it. I actually kept my scalp super calm so I didn't have to itch. And by not itching, I wasn't creating flakes in my scalp by basically itching off the top layer. The one con I have for that, and I'll show you. So this is the box it comes in. The only thing I would want to change about the scalp mask is I absolutely love it. It always has a eucalyptus scent. This is one that you can't choose the scent of, and it works so well, but it's in this little jar, as you can see. Whereas the other ones come in these little containers here and they have a screw cap and in your first order, you get the pumps with it. And then once you get your second order, you can click off when you're renewing your order to say not add pumps and they won't send you new pumps, which is really good, saving extra plastic. And you can just take the pumps out of your original bottles and put them directly into your new ones. However, with this, since it's in a container, I would scoop it out on my fingers and 
by the time I would get from my fingers to my scalp to really rub it in and get it onto the sensitive parts, half of it fell out of my hand and into the tub. So I was like, okay, well, it doesn't work if it's not on my hair. So I would go and get another little scoop. More was losing it. So I did feel like this, I was being a lot more wasteful with than I wanted to, and I really, really enjoyed it. But because I was losing so much, I did run out of this pretty early on, about two months in. You can always renew the subscription for certain products sooner, so I can easily say, send me this every month, but just the shampoo and conditioner every three or four months. This I did run out of pretty quickly and I didn't realize how much it was working until I didn't have it anymore. So once I ran out of it and I wasn't able to do my pre-shampoo mask, which they recommend leaving on five to 15 minutes, up to 15 minutes if possible. Of course, it's a really long time in the shower, so I'll do it, I'll wash my body, I'll buff my feet. And once I was out of it, the flakes came back, the sensitivity came back. This was so good for calming down my sensitive scalp. And once I didn't have it, my scalp was just like, we're mad again. It was looking very very bad so i ran to cvs and got the nizerol shampoo which works but obviously i like the custom formulas i like the clean ingredients all this is sulfite free gluten free you can get it vegan you can get it without scent if you're really sensitive didn't want to go to this like chemically product i really wanted to keep using this more natural product. I wish it also came in a pump because then I can pump it directly onto my scalp and rub it in there. While I absolutely love the product, did not don't love the way that this one comes. For the shampoo and conditioner, again, you get to take a quiz saying what you did or didn't like about your latest formula and what you want to change. I will show you what is in my little booklet here. Custom hair care bottle just for Lauren environmental factors based on my zip code. My UV rays are 80 out of 100, water as in water hardness, so that's 60 out of 100, pollution 100 out of 100, humidity 80 out of 100, and wind 20 out of 100. They clearly have not been here during the Santa Ana winds because that gets wild. And then my hair and scalp needs, so super high up, 100 out of 100 flakes, 70 out of 100 sebum, so like the oiliness of it. Damage, 100 out of 100 because I do do balayage from like here down. A little bit of a darker balayage this time. I'm going back to my roots, going back to darker. I look back at videos of like a year ago when I was like lighter, lighter. Not my look, especially because I would go lighter in the summer and then I would get really tan and I feel like my skin was darker than my hair and it just didn't look right. And then I also have my hair goals of more volume, more smoothness, and reducing brassiness because again, do do a little bit of balayage, it's bleached and then toned. And underneath brown hair, when you bleach it, it's like a coppery orange, which I learned in high school when my sister, who has lighter hair than me, she put in sun and she went to the backyard and she had these like light brown, like blondish streaks. It looks so pretty. And I thought, I want that. So I put in sun in and I really wanted it to work before this three day weekend was up. And I run on the sun and you can either lay outside or if you want it to work faster, you can blow dry your hair. So guess what I did? Sun in, blow dryer. And I looked like a copper pipe. And then I went to school and everybody was like, did you dye your hair? And I was like, no, I don't know. I was just, I was just in the sun. Cause technically I didn't dye my hair. So I was not lying, but it was not cute. And then after that is the first time I ever dyed my hair because my mom said you were going back to your natural color. And I'm happy I did because it looked really stupid. But basically when you do balayage with darker hair, you bleach it and then you add toner. So the toner does slowly fade over time with more washes. As the toner does start to fade, that brassiness from my hair originally being bleached underneath the toner does start to pop up. So I want to reduce brassiness, which is what is available in the conditioner. You can kind of have it to where instead of just a white conditioner, as you can see it's a little purple, a little purpley blue, periwinkle almost, kind of like the color of the label and that helps reduce brassiness. So it's like if you are brunette and you bleach your hair, you can use a blue shampoo. If you're blonde and you lighten your hair, you can use a purple shampoo. And all that's doing is adding a little bit of pigment pigment to negate the color that's starting to come up. And then it has for the pre-shampoo scalp mask, it also shows you when it's bottled, when it's best buy, and it helps hydrate and detox your scalp, get any gunk off of it, just calm the sensitivity. It says use it twice a week, which works out for me because I wash my hair about twice a week. I'll wash my hair every three days, maybe every four days. It really depends on my workout schedule, my filming schedule, my life schedule. But I usually go every 
three-ish days and I just plan my life around it. And then the key ingredients are kombucha tea and yacon root, bamboo charcoal for scalp detoxing, maca root, nasturium, and biotin for hair strengthening, and jujube bark extract for cleansing. For my shampoo, my new shampoo, it is a gentle sulfite-free cleanser that improves manageability while maintaining the natural balance of your scalp, which I also love that sulfite-free. A while back, I was watching Queer Eye and Jonathan Venice kept saying no sulfates, no sulfates. So I went to Target, bought a sulfate-free shampoo for like $20, put it in my scalp, and because it wasn't sudsing, I felt like it wasn't getting underneath, like I was putting it here, but it wasn't like getting under and cleaning. I just felt grosser, so I kept adding more, kept adding more, kept adding more. This whole bottle, I think I used in like two uses, and I still felt nasty after using it, because it wasn't sudsing. What I love about this is it's sulfate-free, and it sudses. The lathering just helps me move everything and get everything because then you don't need a lot. Also going back to the pumps, I love that it has the pump because I tend to accidentally be very wasteful with shampoos and conditioners when it's in the squirt bottle. My mom always like, dime size them out and I'm like <laughs> and then I lather it on and I like run through it so quickly and half of it like I don't even use it just like ends up going down the drain. Super wasteful. But with the pump, I have it in my thing, and I just go one pump, two pumps, and lather in, and then maybe a third pump if I really need it, if I dry shampooed and really wanna get all of that out. But it's so much easier to use with the pump. I feel like I'm being so much less wasteful, and it's probably why it's also lasting me four months, which is so good. My key ingredients are kombucha tea and yukon root, maca root, mysterium and biotin, jujube bark extract, professional silicone for conditioning, yucca stem extract for cleansing, and jasmine flower water. And the scent that I went with is Oasis. My original scent was Botanica, which I just wasn't a super big fan of. It wasn't bad. It was just like, eh. And then this one is Oasis. Let's give that a scent. Mm, that's nice. It's like a like a spa or like when you walk into like a hotel spa that's really good i'm a big oasis gal they also have seasonal ones so depending on when you order it you, they have like certain ones that are only available for a certain amount of time but i think i'm gonna stick with oasis next time as well don't change what ain't bro and my ultra color safe conditioner is infused with naturally derived pigments giving it a light purple tint and it has red algae extract for anti-pollution butterfly pea flower for anti-brassiness so that's that what gives it the purple leaf look professional silicone for conditioning and plum oil for nutrition overall besides the formula which i absolutely love my formula for me and after doing the assessment, I feel like my new formula will be even better for me. As you keep doing it and refining your formula and making it better, it will only get better and your experience will only get better. Every formula will differ, so if you try it out and you want to try it out for a few months and you're like, oh, it's not great, definitely recommend giving it a shot and refining it and getting a new formula. And if after two uses you're like, nope, it's not doing it, then try something else. I think the quiz was also really easy to do and just super quick branding I think is really beautiful as well. And the only cons or recommendations that I have, which I also did share when I originally posted when I started using it on my Instagram, but it is the plastic bottles. As of right now, there's no return recycling program, which I think would be fantastic. Even if you just charged me like an extra $4 on my subscription every few months when I get my new box in to include a return label. I would love being able to rinse out my old bottles, put them back in the box that it sent me in, put on the return label that they shipped me and send it back. That way they can recycle the box that they sent to me, which although I can also put that in the recycling bin and they can rinse out and recycle the shampoo bottles, which again, I can put in the recycling bin, but it would also just be easier if they were able to take it, wash it, throw a new label on it and send it to someone else. So I think a recycling program would be super interesting and I think that would help. And again, I'd be willing to pay like five more dollars to be able to send it back and have reused bottles. I also mentioned that maybe glass bottles would be great because those can be infinitely recycled, but they said that there are some issues with that, which I totally understand. Having glass bottles, one is heavier, so shipping would cost more on their end. Then you're in a shower, and I also thought if people have it on the ledge, if it falls, like if it somehow breaks in the shower, then you're in the shower naked with broken glass. So I totally understand why that could be a health hazard. But then the other day, I was actually thinking that aluminum would also be a really good alternative as well. It's super Super lightweight it would probably actually be more lightweight than the plastic bottles that they send it in it means that shipping wouldn't cost extra metal like aluminum is infinitely recyclable which 
the, these bottles, they can easily rinse and reuse them, but to actually break down plastic into pellets and make it into something else can only be done about five times. And again, being able to mail it back or for the consumer to be able to have their aluminum bottles, rinse them out and then recycle them, knowing that the aluminum will be recycled more so than the plastic bottles will be. Aluminum also isn't a see-through material. And as you can tell, these bottles are like a dark, they are see-through, but it's a very dark plastic, which is, maybe to preserve the formula that way like heat and sun doesn't do it because i know like certain skincare things do come in a darker glass bottle in order to make sure that the uv rays don't mess it up whereas aluminum also won't have the uv rays hitting it and messing up anything in the formula so i think that would be a really good alternative the other request recommendation would be to offer travel sizes i think being able to go on a few weeks before a trip and you know okay i'm going to be here for 10 days I'm definitely going to wash my hair while i'm there there, but I don't want to take my massive bottles with me to be able to log on order a travel size version a four ounce version that you can go through TSA and have your custom formula versus then you're like pumping into one of those little bottles and then you can never get everything out it's just like there's always gonna be some waste because you're never getting everything back out of that little TSA bottle so being able to have your formula without having to either just get the little travel size of something else that isn't your formula or wasting your formula by pumping it into those little bottles I think would be really good and again it can be in aluminum so it can be recycled so it's not super wasteful I do like that all the packaging that it comes in all the shipping stuff is cardboard so that can be easily recycled so those would be my only three recommendations overall i'm super happy with the results i feel like it's really hard to like go to target or wherever and find a shampoo that works for you i've definitely tried so many throughout the years and then finally did end up with the dove one that i really liked its main focus was working on my scalp it didn't have the anti-brassiness effect so then my hair would get brassy after washes so it was only really focusing on one thing at a time you can go and buy a shampoo for volume but then it's not working on your scalp you can go and get a shampoo for frizziness but then you might not have a lot of volume or you might get super oily it's always hard to find the perfect shampoo that fits all of your needs and i feel like a custom formula does just that. And I'm so excited to try my new formula and see how even better it is because of the pumps. I feel like it's lasting me a lot longer. It's doing its job. I'm not super wasting it except for of course I would love different packaging on the scalp mask. It does everything that I want it to do and for me that's worth the little bit of extra money to be able to have something that's specifically for me instead of something that is just doing one part of the job when I need like 10 jobs done at once. Well there you have it. That is my review of my pros custom hair care. So if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've tried out pros for yourself and what you want to see more of on my channel and while you're there be sure to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday. So until the next one, thanks for watching.